Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you once again for giving us the opportunity to come together to meditate on God's Word and pray. This week we've been talking about choices. Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to 3. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days, and forty nights. Afterward, he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. The Lord Jesus performed many amazing miracles during his earthly ministry. He multiplied food, feeding thousands, walked on water, he raised the dead, he brought sight to the blind, he delivered the oppressed. Why would Jesus have refused to turn the stones into bread? Well, the answer is Jesus had a mission and that mission was to glorify God in all that he did. That would include not giving in to temptation to the devil. Jesus refused to be manipulated and use his power as a son of God to his own benefit or his, to, for his own advantage. Instead, he was obedient in every way, showing us how to live in God's will. As we are tempted, we can draw from our close relationship with God. The Bible says that Jesus woke up early in the morning and he went to pray. He was in constant communion with the Father. And it was this communion or relationship that helped him to overcome temptations. You and I can draw from our relationship with God. But in doing so, we must remember that we are honoring God. And when we fall into temptation, we are dishonoring God. Jesus demonstrates to us how to resist temptation. All three times Jesus, when Jesus was tempted, he said, it is written. He stood on God's word. He stood on the promises of God's word. Today, even as we may be tempted in various seasons in our lives, we can hold fast and stand on God's word, on his promises, which will help us to overcome. Let's pray. Father, we thank you once again for this wonderful opportunity to come together and pray. We thank you, Lord, for your presence in our lives. Lord, we pray that no matter what temptations come our way, that you will help us to stand on your word, that we will overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. We thank you, Lord, that your word is true. It's alive and powerful. We pray, God, that we will rest on your word and give you the glory, and honor and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.